Потом развяжет их устами чистые кровавые хины. Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's Music Reaction Channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now this one is going to be my last um, upload reaction to do for today. The sun, and We're going through the winter time so we're, the light is just going all crazy at the moment. Um, I, wake up night, um, at, at, um, I wake up in the morning it's dark outside and in every light in the world to do recording and when it slowly comes um, and then the light changes so it's like ah it's messing up um, but I'm persevering and this will be the last reaction that I'm going to do um, for today this is Elena Pash her this is a new um, track um, and I believe it's called Among the Forest um, uh, um, Sad Abandonment um, what I'm looking for is high if I've been, uh, I'm a massive avid fan of Elena Pash, and when I do um, go to her Instagram and I leave a couple of messages and she replies back, majority of the time she's in the forest, um, and it's just breathtaking of the views that she has in the like in the background a garden or so to speak. And I believe it's with her friends and family and loved ones that she goes out and, and exploring, but it's just absolutely amazing. So, uh, you know, it's just. If it's anything like, if it's any of those scenes that I've seen in the Instagram, I'm going to be heartfelt and touched. Um, I know the music, what she brings, is going to be very, very unique. It's her style, and I love her style. Um, so I'm looking forward to um, just her being her, really. I, I really am. So that's my next um, reaction that I'm going to do. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, please go over to my homepage. Work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top. There are absolutely amazing artists that I don't want you to miss out on. Really, really mind-blowing, amazing artists. Artists from around the world, artists with low subscribers and low views who are equally, equally as good as any A-list artist out there. Truly, I believe... Look, if you don't believe me, check it out. And once you check it out, come back, leave me a message in my community for, uh, in my community um, page. If you are an artist or indeed know an artist, leave your links over in my community page. I will check it out. We are now going reaching, um, we have reached 3,500. So we're halfway mark into achieving, you're trying to achieve the 4,000 mark by the end of the mark, um, by the end of the month. So if you do not mind sharing is caring, any of my reactions that you like, please share it on your social social media platform and please if you do not mind invite at least one person to come over to my channel to check out and see if they want to indeed themselves become a subscriber and if they do if they do become a subscriber then they will hopefully hit the notification button to indicate when my next uploads will be I'm going to do a couple of more shout outs um, and then I'm going to go on to straight on to um, my next reactions you guys are being absolutely massive shout out to Richard how you doing mate um, Gorgon how you doing um, there is a number of um, I think that's Alexa. Um, there's a number of names that is in your native language. If you do not mind, um, at the end of your message, just leave it in. If you don't mind, uh, you know, you, up to you if you want to or not to. But if you want me to call out and um, read your messages on live um, when I'm carrying out my reactions, then please, if you don't mind, translate it. It just saves a little bit of time. But I don't mind after um, my reactions. I do go back onto, I do go into my comments and I reply back to all of my individual um, subscribers who have left me uh, messages. I just want to point that out. Um, good morning, Raphael. Uh, once again, Oleg. Max, how you doing, mate? Um, that's Max um, Matheson. You guys have been absolutely... I'm just looking at these, all these amazing messages. Um, and it's really, really... Very, very supportive. Very, I've, I have got a couple of trolls. Um, but you know what? If they go over to my community page and you see the responses that I've got from these artists, amazing artists, it just gives me a, 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 um, a sense of achievement, a, a sense of, um, you know, I'm doing something really good. I have sent, I'm going to send a message over to the Love Bites. I send messages to all the artists that I've had the pleasure of carrying out. And I'm not talking about Instagram, but I do my due diligence and find out the, the, the management and all that stuff. And, and and find the um, the most directive way of sending a, a message over to the um, particular bands and artists. And nine times out of ten, or eight times out of ten, it gets there and, and I get a message back. If you want to see those messages, go over to my community page, scroll down, and you see the, in the, the number of interactions that I've had with particular artists that I've had the pleasure of carrying out reactions to. Anyway, I've gone over the four-minute mark, four mark, so I apologise for that. 
So I'm going to introduce Elena Pash. This is her, um, her latest um, track, um, Among the Forest's um, Sad Abandonment. Um, the, the title says it all. It really does. So I'm looking forward, it, forward to it. So you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Is that Elena Pesha's boyfriend? I need to find that out because I've seen him in a number of Instagram when they're travelling, uh, when they're going onto the mountains doing a bit of hiking. I think that's Elena Pesha's boyfriend, um, or husband, or partner. Please let me know about this. Is that the traditional way of singing the Ukrainian music? Because I'm hearing the same way as um, the Habakkuk. She sing that as well, that kind of same kind of way. Let me know what that's called. That was Elena Pash with uh, Among the Forest, Sad Abandonment, um, Abandonment, Abandonment. Um, I can't help but this was more of a, a personal um, a song that's to her. Um, I'm seeing, okay, fine, Among the Forest and then at the end there was Abandoned um, um, House. And the, 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 the journey to get to that place where... Um, you know, so uh, is it a case of this is where she used to live um, kind of thing and now that she's um, a, you know, a, a, a massive aura of a gem of a person that she's, you know, she's moved out, you know, to pursue career and all that kind of elements that, um, you know, going back there, you see that there's no one just actually taking care of that particular, um, you know, of her, of her home where she grew up or, you know, you know, that kind of element. Is that what she, I'm not saying that she particularly lived actually there, but I just felt that this was more heartfelt. I felt that this was more a family orientated individual. Um, I've seen that particular person before in, uh, in her Instagram. So I think this is more of loved ones and family, um, or, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, this is kind of more 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 directed to loved ones and family, to her loved ones and family. Um, missing which what she, you know, the, the 
I don't know, missing the, the grown up e elements of when she was child going around in the um, in the forest and everything else. But I, I'm not too sure about that because I know that she's had a very, very, very strict uh, upbringing. So I don't know the how much of this uh, particular video plays a much um, plays t uh, to her personal life, so to speak. Um, and I'm talking when I'm talking about personal life, as in you know the, the growing up um, um, type of thing. I know she loves the outdoors. I love the outdoors. It's just absolutely seeing the videos and um, if that's like, Go over to her Instagram, uh, Instagram account. I will leave them um, the links down there. You see, the, you know the hikings that she's done with um, with this particular person as well. So like I said, uh, it's either family or husband or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, I have to read more into it. Um, it she, and there was other people in there as well. Like it, it looked like um, you know auntie or mother and father or something like that. I don't know. But it's, majority of the time, it's, she's always in the, the, you know um, a lovely mountain or forest or a lovely river. It just looked absolutely breathtaking where I see her go. And she and you can see that she quite knows that area very very well. And she's just that you know a humanitarian to um, mother nature. And that's what I said. Um, I, I replied back. To, I said you know I can't wait to get over to Ukraine and do the, um, to do the, to get one with mother of nature and and you know ukraine seems to be the place to do it and you know she sent me a like on on, on that i mean she always replies back with a like when, when i send her messages um to be fair and um, she's just that nice warm heartfelt person um but this particular track it had so much kind of traditional culture elements that is in there from the way how she was singing i think that was so i think that was very a traditional cultural way of singing i can't remember i can't remember what the way what it's called but correct me if I'm wrong is that's the same way how the habaka um they sing the um sing as well in that kind of a, a chanting a chanting um cry kind of thing um it's a different way of singing it's not just like a a normal way of like la 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 it's a, using a different kind of texture of your vocals um to hit that kind of way of notes I, I did also notice that there was a kind of a vocoder on that as well on her um, I'm not too sure if that was done on purpose or it was because you couldn't hit that kind of same texture um, because it wasn't always all there it was hit there about say three times so I, I don't know what that what part does that have to I don't know about that that's kind of a jumbled up all, all together her music it is always unique and I absolutely love what she brings to the table. It's always something different, completely different from what everybody else is doing. And it still has that fundamental fundamental um, emotion connected to that. And I'm always drawn to that kind of music, a music that's out of the box, music that doesn't sound like the, you know, the, the person next door, what they created. Um, and that's what I love so much about Elena Pash, that she's got this uh, own unique style, um, which people can relate to as well but also be drawn to it um even though it's it, you know some people might not understand it but it still doesn't stop them from being still drawn to the instruments drawn to the way how she's singing it drawn to the way how she's just performing um she's an absolutely extraordinary um female with so many beautiful um things that represent her and for that reason elena pash i salute your mom fabulous track once again Потом развяжут их устами чистые, кровавые химии. Они ворвутся в избы почернелые, зажгут пожар, хмельные, озверелые. Не остановит их седины старцы белые, не детский путь.